Hello future doctors welcome to the painism i am dr dipen shah and we are discussing the division gymnosperme in my previous video we discussed about the life cycle and the structure of gymnosperm in this segment we are going to discuss about the different groups of gymnosperme now gymnosperme has specifically two groups one of the group is known as cycadophyta and the other group is known as coniferophyta so these are the two major groups of gymnosperme cycadophyta are basically the lower members of gymnosperme whereas the coniferophyta these are the higher members of the gymnosperme in cycadophyta we are going to discuss about three different orders whereas in coniferophyta there are four orders which have to be discussed in cycadophyta the first order is cycadophyllicales now remember that in cycadophyllicales most of the members have become extinct so this group is consisting of all extinct organisms the next group is known as benetitales in benetitales as well the plants are extinct one of the example of benetitales group is williamsonia this plant has been found in the fossil study hence it is also known as the fossil plant this fossil was mainly studied by professor birbal sahani in fact he is known as the father of indian plant botany so that is about professor birbal sahani then the third major order of cycadophyta is cycadales so there is cycadophyllicales benetitales and cycadales in cycadales one of the important example is zamia pygmea remember that zamia pygmea is the smallest gymnosperm apart from this another important member of cycadales is the cycas plant which is also known as the sago palm tree in fact in cycas the ovule is of 7 cm in diameter and this size of the ovule is one of the largest ovule in the entire plant kingdom in fact it has largest male gamete as well in the cycas plant also an important point to be noted is in cycas the female cone is absent that means they have only cluster of leaves which are present where that is the megasporophyll but that megasporophyll is not properly organized to form a female cone so female cone is absent in cycas plants so this was the discussion about the lower members cycadophyta moving to the next group that is the coniferophyta where four orders are going to be discussed one of the order is known as the zincoales in zincoales one of the member is known as zinco biloba in fact this plant is considered as a living fossil so some of the members are fossilized and some of the members are still living so that is about the order zincoales the next order is cordaitales and cordaitales are most of them extinct organisms extinct plants example is cordaitis cordaitis the third group is known as the coniferales and coniferales is actually the largest group of gymnosperme just like the enteridophytes teropsida was one of the largest group similarly in gymnosperme coniferales is the largest group some of the important example of coniferales is the pinus plant so pinus is an important member apart from this the cedrus plant or devdar apart from this arucaria species arucaria excelsa 
is actually known as the Christmas tree. So Christmas tree belongs to Gymnosperme coniferophyta group under the order Coniferales, Arocaria, Excelsa. Another example is Texas. Now from this plant Texas, Texol medicine has been prepared which is an anti-cancer medication. So anti-cancer medicines have been developed from Texas plants. Another example are Juniperus virginiana and uh, another various examples are belonging to coniferales. Fourth and final order is nettles. Now in nettles some of the examples are Natum ola, Velvishia and Ephedra. One of the classic feature of this members of order Nettales is that these plants have presence of vessels. Now usually in gymnosperms the xylem only consists of tracheids. It does not have xylem vessels but vessels are present in all these three plants which are belonging to Nettales. So this is an exception in gymnospermae. Also another important point is ephedra this plant has been used for making anti asthmatic medicines so this has certain medicinal properties as well so ephedra is also of great economic importance so this was the overall discussion about two major groups psychedophyta and coniferophyta psychedophyta having two groups two orders which are mainly of extinct organisms and psychedels which has the smallest gymnosperm and cycus showing a characteristic feature of having largest ovule and largest male gamete in the entire plant kingdom. In coniferophyta, zinc oil, zinc biloba being the living fossil, cordites becoming extinct and coniferales which is the largest group in which certain important examples were pinus, cedrus, arocaria, texas and nettles showing a very important characteristic feature that vessels are present in them. So with this, we wrap up the kingdom plantae wherein in detail we have discussed about all the different divisions which are essential for your NEET exams. In my further videos, we'll discuss about the angiospermae family where we'll be discussing morphological characteristics as well as anatomical characteristics. Stay tuned for my further videos. That's all from the Painism.